So we start off just in verse number one, exalting the name of the Lord. And um, let's look at verse number two. The Bible says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. So this is quoted, of course, in Matthew 21. If you want to turn to Matthew 21, we, we covered this a little bit when, we, when I went through the Matthew series on Wednesday night. But let's go ahead and look at this again, especially in light of Psalm 8, which is, which is you know, what we're dealing with tonight. And break down this verse a little bit. The Bible says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength. Now, in the New Testament, it's quoted as, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise. So, ordaining the strength, gaining the strength, perfecting the praise, it's the same meaning, ultimately, as, as you know, otherwise, you know, that's, that's why he quoted it that way, because that is what the ordaining of the strength means, is that he's, he's receiving that strength from the praise of the, of the mouths of babes and sucklings. Now, why is that even a perfecting of praise? And let's just read Matthew 21, if you're there, verse 15. The Bible says, And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased and said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected Praise. Now, before I continue, could someone please just turn the heat off here and there? I'm, I'm just, I don't want to have to take my jacket off and everything. I'm starting to sweat. Um, why is it, why is it that you've perfected praise? Or, or where, where do you draw strength from out of the, the mouth of babes and sucklings? Because the mouths of babes and sucklings, little children, they tell the truth. They're honest. They don't understand politics. They don't understand, you know, being deceptive and using guile and being real sneaky to try to get what they want. It's just very blunt and very forthcoming of what they want. And if they see something, there's no filter. They're just going to say whatever comes to their mind. So when you get praise from someone who's not trying to be deceptive, not trying to, you know, not, not doing it, holding anything back. Hey, that's a great, that is, that is honest. That's genuine. That's sincere. You know you're getting real praise out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, right? So what was happening when Jesus quotes Psalm 8, the chief priests and the scribes, now are these the friends of Jesus? No, of course not. We know that these are the enemies, right? They hear the children crying in the temple. And what are they saying when they're crying out in the temple? They're not weeping, crying. They're, they're crying out, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. So they're glorifying the excellent name of Jesus. Hosanna to the son of David. And, and respecting him and glorifying him and giving him praise in the temple. And the chief priests are mad about that. We see how this fits in perfectly with Psalm 8, too, because it says, Out of the mouth of the babes and suckling hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. 